friends! Welcome back to Dirty Beef Lay and Nosia. I keep for some reason doing this. It's been the second time, not quite in a row, but recently, that I've started my recordings on those screens instead of this screen. But I'd like to start it here because we're right here where we can launch into the game at this point, right? But for some reason, recently, I've been losing a lot of my usual procedure stuff for some reason. I just keep forgetting a few things whilst I'm improving other parts of it and, and being more consistent in other parts of it. It's very strange. But I guess that's probably part of life, especially if you're someone like me with very severe ADHD and who believes that medicine and has personally experienced ADHD meds is something I don't want to resort to for many reasons, including the fact that ADHD meds absolutely also stunt ADHD creativity and the positive things about ADHD. So it's not some magical fix-all thing. It's only that if you really, 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 really passionately feel like you need to be normal, and that everything that you want is normal, and that is not me. That's what I believe about ADHD meds. Anywho, friends, engineer, bam, let's go. And listen, we, we go on random tangents here. If things are on my mind, I put them in my videos, because this is a place where I can talk and be myself. So, yeah. <clears throat> Someone among us is not human. I don't want to believe it, but apparently it's true. I have more self-confidence, and I'm really proud of that, because I used to relentlessly check the f it, but by used to, I mean as, as uh, recent as last session, relentlessly check my my recording to make sure I was even recording. I didn't, that I didn't, that I actually pressed both recording buttons. I did. And I want to check it again, but I won't. Because I just looked, looked at them, and I saw that it was a red recording button on, on OBS, and that my audio was recording on Audacity. Like, I know that I saw it, but I still want to check again. It's like, did I really, though? Did I really do that? I'm moving away from that self-doubt all the time, and it feels so good. In fact, I struggled with a lot of self-doubt before I sat down and recorded. And now it's all fading away the more that I actually do something with my life, and clearly see the progress that I'm making because I'm consistent about something. All that I need is to continue to be more and more consistent about more and more things, and then it will be harder and harder to doubt myself. And also, again, you, I, I have to keep checking myself, because I still might, because imposter syndrome exists, apparently. Uh, even for people that are very successful. But clearly, because I'm experiencing it, you can work those mental patterns out. At least, you, like, make them much less of a thing. And it's very awesome. Also, friends, another random tangent I feel like I really need to say, because it's been on my mind. A lot of people say, oh, 2020 and 2021 sucked. Oh my god, they're the worst years ever. And I really think that that's not helpful to say. Like, yes, I understand the sentiment. There are a lot of worldwide things that oof that happened this year and last year. It's not like I don't acknowledge that. But, like, deciding that the years sucked, period, oh well, is so defeatist. Like, I'm so used to just seeing the positive and everything that the idea that people can look at 2021 especially and decide oh god it was the worst year ever it sucks especially because people's circumstances are gonna vary and let me tell you friends my year is pretty awesome like I, i'm not saying that to boast or be an asshole i'm just saying like people decide there's a blanket statement for something like a year in this varied as fuck earth. When you say that, it's like you're saying that's true for everyone. And a lot of people really assume that this year's, this year and even 2020, 2020 did not suck for me, by the way. It didn't. You know why? Because I've always self-isolated. And I always wanted that. But regardless, um, words. Uh, what I'm saying here, I'm not saying this to be a dick or anything. I'm just saying that, like, people don't understand that Regardless of given circumstances, you can train your mind to see the positive in things so much that the negative becomes something that's just there. It doesn't seem bad anymore. Because you're so used to looking at the bright side that what you see is the bright side and the neutral things. 
that's what I see most of the time. I, I see a lot of negative in myself, and I'm working on that. But in the outside world, I've usually just seen good and neutral. I get outraged sometimes because that's a natural human thing to do, but I really don't think I'm as prone to it as most people, and I thank God for that because I... I don't know, I just... I feel like a lot of people get wound up and all this bad stuff happened this year, so it was a shit year. But that makes you feel bad to think and say that, right? And like, I don't know. It just, it kind of makes me sad to see all these people lamenting and deciding that, oh my god, I really hope next year's great because otherwise I don't know if I'm going to deal with it. Like, you can be better regardless of your sit. You can feel better regardless of your situation. You just can. I've seen it. I've done it. I do it all the time. I just, it, it distresses me when people think like that. And it seems like most people think like that. I'd really like to help change that for so, some people. Because, god damn, have I seen a lot of people close to me be like that. And I just want to shake them by the shoulders and be like, fucking <laughs> god damn it. And then miraculously they just think and understand like me. Because they would absolutely feel better. Because I absolutely feel better because of mental changes I've made. I just... People don't understand that their outside circumstances really don't define them in the ways that they're thinking anyway. They, they, they go, it's, it's like it's this weird secret that I have always known. And I look at other people and I just shake my head because it feels like, like they, they could snap out of it and be so much happier right this second. But if they're told that, that truth, they get angry. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this might anger a lot of people to hear this. Clearly, you know, because, well, I mean, I just explained why. But it, it just feels really important. A lot of people don't understand that they themselves are the cure to all of their ailments, and they don't even need to change their situation. It's all mental. They don't understand. And by ailments, I don't mean physical ones. I mean your thought, the, the ailments that are caused by your feelings and thoughts, because at the end of the day, yes, your feelings and thoughts are triggered by things, but they're processed by you and perpetuated by you and can be stopped by you, can be turned into better by you. It takes work, and a lot of people would rather take the easy route, because, well, it isn't easy, but it's long-term a lot easier than suffering. But a lot of people are used to suffering, and I'd really like to help change that for people. And I think, honestly, you know the best, most po- You know the most positive aspect about 2020 and 2021? You know what it is? Circumstances are making people so uncomfortable that they might actually start deciding, okay, maybe I need to change myself to feel better. Because that's what people need to do, and they don't get it, and they don't get that they can either. And that makes me sad sometimes. Anywho, friends. <clears throat> yeah. Now to another, like, definite example of people running with all sorts of negative emotions and things. Although, granted, do the Nozia even have a choice? And that's spooky to think about. I don't think they do. It's been pretty clear and cut that they don't. They're just gonna hate humanity and murder people. Oh boy. And they don't have a choice in that. That scares me. Now, granted, it's been actually clear that they don't actually... They can certainly choose not to act on these feelings, but they, like, have this deep-seated hatred for humanity. It's like, oof, man. <clears throat> Someone among us is not human. I don't want to believe it, but apparently it's true. Yeah, I hope it's not you. I... But who knows, man. All I know is I love Gina, so... I always hope it's not her if I'm on the other side. Uh, the human side. I am B-Engineer now. And by the way, did I even look at the numbers? I didn't this time. And all the rolls. We've got everything except for bugs. Okay. I don't have to look for a bug. Good, because I'm not great at that, as you've noticed, friends. I really don't think it's up to me, though. I don't really think there's a specific indicator about who the bug might be out of all the liars and all the suspicious people. Like, it, it's been classically very hard for me to oust the bug. But I really do feel like that is a gameplay thing. Another thing people tend to do that kind of piss me off, and, 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 and I do my best not to do, because let's be frank here, all these things I'm talking about, 
The reason I have so much vitriol about them is because I've experienced them myself. And I've found ways to negate them, and other people just aren't doing that, and they don't understand that they can, and... Ay, they just, they just go through life being miserable because they don't understand the alternative. They don't see it. Ay, anyway, I forgot where my train of thought was going. <laughs> Let's play the game. Alright, so, Crew 12, Nocia 3, we've got Engineer Me, Doctor, Guardian Angel, Guard Duty, AC Follower, No Buggle. Alrighty. I think I will start. I always like starting by saying you're human, because, well, last time that really helped direction of things, and I got all but one enemy. The Buggle that thankfully is not here this time. You asked everyone to step up and state that they really are human. I'm human? Okay, who's next? Hmm, let it be known. I, my own self, am, indeed, human! Kakushka nods. She's gesturing that she, too, is human. I always like how they write her. Sometimes I feel like it could be a lot more descriptive than it is, but there's also lines like that that I feel are perfectly descriptive. Hmm, so you want to make the fake lie, huh? I don't much care for these tactics. Oh well, either way, I'm human, so I don't care. Uh, yeah, I'm human. Obviously, I'm kind of playing around with voices and inflections. Because I like voice acting, and it's something that I really appreciate. And there's another Let's Player, Nico B, that's really influencing my desire to try to figure out how to voice act stuff like this. Yes, I'm human. I'm human? Hey, who's laughing at me? I am human! You got a problem with that? I love Shikamichi. Uh, he's such a goofball, and he kind of reminds me of myself, because I'm a goofball. Can I call myself human? Well, I'm certainly not nosy, at least. I'll, I'll, at this point, I, I don't know if I'll ever try to dolphin squeak like her, but I keep wanting to try. I keep wanting to learn what the sound is that she might be making. By looking at dolphin videos or something, I tried to emulate it, but I may never. But I may, also. Who knows? <laughs> yes, I'm human. So, so what? Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, well, I'm not Nosia anyway. Apparently that's all. Some people failed to step up. Stella didn't claim to be human. Stella, Stella, Stella. Well, you're the sole suspicious ass mofo, Stella. And if you claim a role, you're double finished to this point, but, but yeah. Uh, unfortunately, no one lied that I saw, but people definitely lied. Because there's three Nosia, so two of them successfully lied. And or possibly, or possibly all three of them, or possibly all of them, including the AC follower, because Stella might just be human, and just it was an unfortunate decision. But yeah, she very well might not have uh, been one of these four things. Ugh, man, that is not a very good result for that. Oh well, this is why I really want to keep jacking up my intuition. And I think I will keep doing that for the why, for the moment, because it's gonna help to have more intuition for sure. I will just see more lies. So yay. Do I state roll next or do I step forward? I'm gonna state roll first. Hey, here we go. Only one, but also now I'm a bit spooked about that. Let's go ahead and have everyone step forward, and then I'm gonna shut up for a little while. Oh boy. Yep. Stella and Gina. Oh boy. And Comet. Oh boy. Jonas and Rakio. And I'm not even gonna. Ah, thank you. Yeah, and that's it anyway. I can't even. Alright, so. I think people are gonna vote for Stella. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that too. I'm surprised that. Chippy? What? Comet would make more sense because at least she claimed a role, but what the fuck did Chippy do? Some of these decisions are very interesting, but and don't really make much sense to me, but, like, also, it might be coded into the game because, like, of the predict- the unpredictability of people, especially in situations like this, like, and also to make the game interesting and fun and have a lot of unexpected scenarios happen, even if you start understanding the rules of the game and how it generally behaves in situations. Like, I can predict more things this game does, but I cannot predict how things will go most of the time, and I've played this game to death by now. That's good game design, in my opinion. This game's really well designed, and I really feel like there should just be more people. Like, man, it's so underrated. I don't see... Even, like, Nico B doesn't seem to have this game on his radar at all. And he's, like, famous for Danganronpa and Ace Attorney. 
Like, this game is right in that fucking alley. I really would like to donate to him someday on a stream. I definitely will. Unless Nosia gets played by him in some form, either stream or Let's Play, before then. But if that doesn't happen, whenever I have the money to donate to him, I really want to be like, Hey Nikyo, play Nosia, please, because it's literally right up your alley of what your, like, what your main bread and butter is for series. Ay. So, we have to decide from among the people to, who- Oh! I'm not sure if I ever noticed this because type- It says tied, not lied. Oh wait, hold on. No, 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 Wow. <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. Tied is the right word there, you doofy durgan. Funny. Tied is the right word there, Durgan. You're funny. The reason I rephrased it there is because calling myself a doofy durgan or anything derogatory is something I'd like to stop doing and I, s I find the more that I stop doing that and the more that I correct myself when I say that kind of shit, the better I feel about myself because duh, right? Like, people must know that the more that you repeat a, a mental habit, the more it becomes a habit, right? Like. <laughs> It really seems like common sense to me, I and mean, most people, it's just like, they get this stuff stuck and they think it's true, so they don't think it's a them problem, they think it's just, or uh, they do, I mean, they think it's like, oh no, that's fundamentally how I am, but no, your brain decided that, like, you decided, like, you, you came to that conclusion yourself, and that means that if you come came to a conclusion yourself, you can always change that. It's just that we're not predisposed to doing that, but thankfully we can learn to. And I am a living fucking example of that. So, don't let your dreams be memes, friends, basically. I'm not. I'm working on stuff like this channel. Hey, knock it off. I won't let anybody suspect Stella. Stella, oh my god, poor Shigamichi. Shigamichi? Listen, he's horny for you, Stella. It's the most obvious thing in the known universe. But she'll figure it out eventually. That'll get more awkward. That'll be fun. Also, God, she gave me to remind me of myself in the situation. And in a bunch of others. This is kind of uncomfortable for me to see him struggle with a crush like this. Because, uh, oof. I've been through that, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have too. It's not great. <laughs> well... And I like how, again, they tie these tie these character things into narratives. Like, Shigemichi didn't... You know what I've just realized? Shigemichi never behaved like this until that one loop where he's like, Oh my god, I'm falling in love. And now, every single loop since then, he has, you know, obviously still had a crush on her. It hasn't been reset to him not having it. So I'm really wondering if that means anything about the narrative or if I'm just reading too far into that. Like, does that mean that you just end up permanently changing certain things even through the loops? I don't know. Oh, jeez. My sixth sense of him whispering in my ear. Do not trust Stella at once. I didn't mean to just go. I meant to try to do something. But yeah, uh, absolute agreement here. She was the suspicious one, anyway. I hope she is... Uh, human. I, I, I hope, I mean, I hope she isn't human, obviously, at this point. If she's in the group of, you know, like, if you didn't, like, honestly, like, that's just kind of a double whammy of, hmm, if you didn't say you were human, and then you, uh, are in a mix of several people that claim to be the whatever. Like, that's kind of a death sentence, and the ten votes against her just then definitely dictate that. Definitely, uh, illustrate that. Hello, Jonas. I feel like that those, um, I feel like that lyric just said Jonas, but I don't know if they are actually actual words even, or if they're in a different language, possibly. The storm winds blow. The storm winds known as Nosia. Yes, we humans. We must huddle together to wait out the storms of, um, naughtiness. I really love Jonas's dialogue. I can't say it enough because it's so true. Uh, Durgi, oh Durgi, let us join together in our struggle against that which is bad and naughty. I love you, man. The thing is, I both love and am scared of and hate Jonas because of reasons. Like the fact that he was happy about Stella's death and the fact that he tends to seem to have a fetish about people that are cold sleeping uh, and seems to do th things to them when they're cold sleeping and I don't want to think about what those might be. But then I fucking love his 
fucking spontaneity and his very old-timey gentleman personality. And also, honestly, the look really suits him and he's kinda hot. So there's just a lot of things, you know. And also, I can identify him because with him because he apparently he was a video game addict. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know if I've ever really been a video game addict. Because my ADHD brain <laughs> definitely can't sit around and play video games as much as you would think. <laughs> but I think that's a good good part about ADHD. And there's more good there than a lot of people with ADHD realize. Because you need to bring out the good. And a lot of people medicate the ADHD away so that they never get a chance to really understand the good. Another uh, Durian-y tangent TM. Again, I think it's a good part of my ADHD because regardless of how many people might be like, oh my god, get a move on, stop sidetracking, just do personal or whatever, there might be someone who really appreciate my openness and the things that I say in here. And also it feels really good to say this stuff, so, you know. Determination! You choose wisely. Nice one, bro. I really wonder if that determination is an Undertale reference. That's probably a stretch, but I wouldn't put it past. Really, indie devs in general, they tend to be passionate about games. Because you have to be, especially to be an indie dev. You don't really have to be to be a AAA dev. You just kind of seem to have to have programming experience and want money. And that's probably why a lot of these games feel like they have more soul in them. I'm not saying no AAA games feel like they have soul in them, that's really wrong. There's a lot of them that I do feel do, but, well, I feel like it's a, it's a smaller majority. A smaller percentage. But anyway, I will invoostigoot. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's weed out the doctors here, because I'm the real-ass engineer, and people will believe me. So... That means Gina is... Mm, unless, well, Comet could still be an AC follower, so there is that. At least I'm pretty sure she could. Again, I, I'm still not clear about if AC follower counts as human, but I'm pretty sure they do at this point. I'll definitely investigate Gina just for posterity, because if both of them are human, then one of them is an AC follower, and if one's no see, then well, the one's no see. Also, I'm gonna make small talk, because I'm the real engineer, and I need some heat off my back, because I'm the real engineer. Food, eh? Want me to whip something up? I'm actually pretty good at cook. I don't read these often enough, I feel like, so it's time to do it. Food. I really want to eat some raw fish. Of course you do. You're a dolphin. Cute. I'll just wait and see for a second. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, man, man, getting her cold set before I know. I am. Oh god, I feel like people might have just gotten. I, I oftentimes do that. I do whatever I feel like I should do. But yeah, like, yeah, just. Human mean they can't be AC follower either, I'm not sure. I, I hope so, but why? Hmm. We'll... We'll see. But it seems like most people seem to believe that, and there is that green icon. So. Most people in the game, I mean, seem to believe that. And then there's also the icon, the green icon, which is the human icon. I'm dirty, I... So that might not include easy follower, at least for some purposes. I've, I, uh, I've realized something. Chippy's lying. I can tell by the sound we were all talking. I hope I'm wrong, but... Hmm. The Otome... Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'll investigate Chippy, and if he's human, then I will investigate Otome. Aha! Thank you very much, Otome. Oof. Interesting. Hmm. I think she was an AC follower, though, but... I hope that Comet ain't the also... I 
I'm honestly gonna let all this stuff pass. Because I think we just got Chippy. Regardless. And I'll go ahead and join in this, because again, I'm the real engineer. I need it. And I keep getting Nosia got, so. Chippy seemed kind of off. I hope this is okay. Dwarf. But Durkey, I appreciate you listening to me earlier. I want to thank you for that. Well, thank you all too. Still not getting events, but just keep progressing through loops how you do, and it, it happens usually. So I'm just going to let myself go with the flow here. Just do a loop a day. Just a loop an episode, or two, perhaps, or three, perhaps. Hopefully things will happen, but I don't know why I'm not getting... <laughs> I'm just not getting it, though. I'm not getting um, events. But I hope I will start soon. Alert. Well, oh, there you look, look, I changed my water. Does it look better now? Dwah, cute. I don't know if I've ever heard that one before either. I'm glad I clicked on her. I just like talking to people that I trust. Because obviously Otome must be human. Mm. Who's the human? Everyone else, right? Because, yeah, there had to be one among all three of the doctors that God got, too. Like, there's no fucking way mathematically that that wouldn't be true. So I think this means that everyone else is human. So I'll just... Unless this doesn't make sense, apparently. But no, okay, it does. Oh, not doubt. I'm not gonna doubt anyone. There's no doubting needed anymore. So I'm just gonna- oh yeah, Jonas is of course human, because he's freaking crew. Otome! Well. And Remnant. Who I almost investigated, but I'm glad I investigated Kukruzka. Well. And that is it. And then I will just wait and see. Ah, ah yay. We did it. Hell yeah. It was a very clean run, and I'm proud of that loop. For sure. We won. <laughs> Glad we're on the same team, Durgy. Well, it's almost time. Durgy, see you in the next loop, okay? Bye for now, Setsu. Bid Setsu farewell. See you soon. See you soon. Mwah. Man, I love this game. Wait, what? Oh! New event! Yay! Hoip! Except also spoop. Not over yet? You replied that there may still be no sea aboard. My experience, that's probably not the case, but just to be safe, let's go check the rest of the ship. Mmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. I checked the pods, but everyone was properly in cold sleep. So that means maybe you won't loop again after all. Ah, what do I do? I don't think I'm ready for this yet. Setsu hug. Well, what do you think we should do, Durgi, assuming we don't loop again? I'll have to return to the military. So, it would be after that, but... If... Durgi, if you're okay with it. Maybe together we... Aw. Cute. We will soon be commencing warp. All crew members, please return to your rooms. Setsu huggle. Oh, yeah, after we warp, we'll have to do a final check for Nosia. And this is so cute, Infection. I guess we should think of, uh, about the future after that. Yeah, this is definitely implied romance. That's really cute. And granted, you have implied romance with all the female characters in this game, but a few of the male ones, too, and I love that. And I said female characters, but Setsu was neither. Well, sorry, Dirk. Let's talk again tomorrow. And by that one, I mean that one beautiful screenshot of her, of them. But you know, this is a first. I actually look forward to tomorrow like this. But what's gonna happen? Oh no! Wait, what? No, see, wait, what the fuck? So I, wait. Interesting. I'm not sure if I remember this happening, but I think it might have still. He's finding a room of any crew member infected by Nosy. Oh boy. Wait, hold on. But why? There were no more Nosy. Kakushka. Wait, she became Nosia? It's every time that the loop goes smoothly, Kakrushka makes it wrong again. 
I've noticed that. Kukushka makes the loop happen every time. Whenever it's not about to. That's been twice now. Mmm. Kukushka, Kukushka's supposed to be in cold sleep. And time for another terrifying face! Results will be displayed. Also known as Kukushka murdered you again! Why? Man, I'm so excited to he to understand exactly what the hell is going on with Kakrushka. It's like, does she have a personal hatred for me? Does she have some kind of thing to do with the key? Like, why would Kakrushka do this? And what exactly is she? Because I don't think we've actually... We've definitely not found that yet. I don't remember this happening yet, but I, I, I think I vaguely remember this happening. But yay, event happened. Yay. So yeah, I'll just keep doing a loop or two a day, depending. Maybe I'll just stick with one a day and just take it easy. And at least on this series and work on other things. But anyway, friends, I hope y'all have lovely, lovely days. And I will see y'all in my next episode or on my next stream. And I'm, by the way, starting tonight as of recording, uh, on New Year's Day, uh, to kick off the new year with some some more streaming, I will be uh, streaming um, Resident Evil 4 Professional Mode. Um, starting my playthrough of that on stream at... 8 p.m. U.S. Central Standard Time every night that I'm up for it, so I hope y'all join me for that. And otherwise, friends, I I hope y'all have lovely freaking New Year's and days, and um, yeah, see you in my next one, and have goodness, and I hope that my content has uh, done good things for y'all. Because content does good things for me, which is part of why I want to do it so much, and that I am loving doing it so much, because the idea of positively affecting people just makes me go, yay! So, anywho, friends, have lovely days, and I will see y'all in my next piece of content. Have goodness, friends. Hell yeah!